Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick little lesson on the types of biomes with dealing with climate and latitude. Um, this is the biome that you colored, very similar to the one that should be in your science notebook. And one of the questions that said, what determines the type of biome that we live in? So you can see here we have our equator, but the colder biomes, like the tundra, the taiga, are further away from the equator. Then you see a lot of the similar biomes like here we have our temperate deciduous forest here where we live in Michigan, but it's also here over in Europe and Asia. Now, this is dealing because they are at the same latitude line. So even though they are separated by thousands of miles, we have this similar climate because we are at the same latitude line. Those near the equator are going to be hotter, uh, which is why we have our deserts and some of our other savannas are going to be closer to uh, the equator. So the further you go away from the equator, the colder things get because there's not as much direct sunlight. This is something that you should have um, talked about in geography class. Um, but lines of latitude are really going to determine the type of biome that we see and the climate. So please ask if any of that does not make sense to you. Um, again, in my first video I talked to you about trying to look at some of these videos with the tundra. So the tundra is going to be our northernmost biome. It's closest to the North Pole. And here you can see in this first picture there is little things that can grow. It's a very, very short growing season. If um, mosses, different low-lying plants, not going to be any trees, I'm very barren. Um, that is going to be our tundra. You can see that the tundra is also going to include some of the ice caps, the polar bears, and different types of animals that live there. So again, as we go through these different biomes, I want you to be paying attention to the adaptations that animals have to go through in order to survive. For example, you know, what do the plants have to, how have they adapted to live in such an area that has a very short growing season? animals, how have they adapted to the very, very cold climates and temperatures. Um, so those are the things I want you to be thinking about. At any time, if something, if you're confused about something, please ask. Um, I will be checking my email and Google Classroom comments all the time. But hopefully as things, I will do another video to do with the taiga and the de temperate deciduous forest. But again, hope to see you all very soon.